when we evaluate each radical expression given the values of a and b. Notice here we have the square root of a sum, and here we have a sum of square roots. So for this first row, when a is one and b is two, here we would have the square root of one plus two, and since one plus two is equal to three, this is equal to the square root of three, which we'll have to use a calculator to evaluate to three decimal places. But before we do this, let's take a look at the next column. Here we would have the square root of a plus the square root of b, or the square root of one plus the square root of two. Now we cannot add these square roots because the radicands are not the same. But notice the square root of one is equal to one, so we could write this as one plus square root two. Now we'll approximate these to three decimal places using the calculator. So we first have the square root of three, To round to three decimal places, we'll look to the fourth decimal place to see if we round up or down. If this fourth decimal place is a five or greater, we'll round up. If it's four or less, we round down. Notice here it's a zero, so we round down, which means we leave it as 1.732. And then we have one plus the square root of two, Again, the fourth decimal place is a two, so we round down, this will be approximately 2.414. Next, a is three and b is four, so here we'd have the square root of three plus four. Three plus four is seven, so we have the square root of seven. But here we'd have the square root of three plus the square root of four. Again, we cannot add these because they're not like radicals, but since the square root of four is equal to two, we could write this as the square root of three plus two. And now we'll go back to the calculator. So first we have the square root of seven. Notice the fourth decimal place here is a seven, so we're gonna round up, meaning we'll change this five to a six. So this is approximately 2.646. And next we have the square root of three plus two. The fourth decimal place is a zero, so we round down. So this is approximately 3.732. So we should notice here that the square root of the quantity a plus b does not equal the square root of a plus the square root of b. And for our last row, we have a is five and b is six. So here we have the square root of five plus six, which would be the square root of 11. And here we have the square root of five plus the square root of six, which again, we cannot add. So the square root of 11. The fourth decimal place is a six, so we round up. So this is approximately 3.317. And then we have the square root of five plus the square root of six. The fourth decimal place is a five. Again, we round up. So this will be approximately 4.686. I hope you found this helpful.